So right now, I'm outside the stadium of the worst rated team on all of FIFA. So for those of you that don't know, this is Longford Town Football Club. And unfortunately for them, they're most infamously known for being the worst rated team on all of FIFA. So that is why today I gathered my friends and went to Longford Town to see if they're as bad as EA Sports makes them out to be and if they really deserve the title as the worst football club in the world. So it's 10.30am right now, I'm supposed to meet my friends in this car park at 11 so I'm already way too early. I can already tell it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> so after killing some time for half an hour and getting picked up just 10 minutes late, it was finally time to make our way to Longford. Then before long, we had arrived in Longford. So we've arrived in Longford now, there's still about six hours till kickoff, but we've just come to the ground early to see the stadium and see what we're dealing with. So after arriving at Bishop's Gate and talking to the groundsman, we were actually allowed inside the stadium to take a look around. What was probably most surprising about Longford's ground was just how nice it actually is. For being the worst rated team in FIFA, Longford Town actually have the fifth largest ground for any League of Ireland team with a capacity of 5,000. And for anyone wondering, Longford currently sit third in the League of Ireland First Division after dropping down from the Premier Division last season. But promotion back up to the Premier Division is on the cards after a decent start to the season. So after our quick look around the stadium and seeing what Longford Town had to offer, we headed inside towards the players' entrance. We're not players or officials. But we're gonna do it anyway. We did have permission to do this, by the way. Ooh, changing rooms. So we're in the away dressing room. It is quite interesting to see that this is just quite basic. There's no fancy screens on the wall or anything. It is just like the bare minimum for a dressing room. It's not bad though. So this is the home dressing room and it's quite interesting just to see how much different it is from the away one. We have so much nicer things. We have like the Longford Town badges under each number. We have a load of sports drinks and a TV. We've even got like the whiteboard on the wall and music. It is quite interesting just to see how much different it is from the away one. It's all up here. After checking out the changing rooms, we headed towards the player's entrance that leads out onto the pitch. Honestly, for the worst rated team in FIFA, these guys have an amazing ground. Also, one of the most intriguing things we found out while at Longford was from their media manager, James, who actually works in this office here. James pretty much told us that when EA Sports originally came to Longford, they were like, hey, we want to put you in the game. And Longford were like, yep, that's cool with us. The only thing was EA also said, you're going to have to rate your own players. So being the extremely humble football club that Longford Town are, they obviously thought they couldn't get away with rating their players the same as Ronaldo or Messi. So instead, they pretty much rated their players what they thought was fair. But without even knowing it, Longford actually made themselves the worst rated team in FIFA. Also, James, if you're watching this, thanks for all the help. So I think we're going to head back to the Airbnb now. There's a couple hours to kill, so we're just going to chill out and relax and come back for kickoff. So after our quick tour of Longford Stadium was coming to an end, we said thanks to the groundsman. Cheers. Thanks. And made our way back to the Airbnb. So after getting back to the Airbnb, there was just enough time for a quick break and an outfit change before heading back to Bishopsgate Stadium for kickoff. So there's 10 minutes till kickoff now and this place is absolutely empty. Still more fans than Man City though. Come on, Longford. And so it was finally time for kickoff, where today third place Longford Town were taking on fifth place Treaty United in a battle for promotion. 
Right from the start of the game, Longford were quick to put the pressure on in search of a goal, and an early fumble from Treaty's keeper nearly gave them the lead. The home side kept pushing forward though, but it was just their final ball that let them down. Any treaty attacks were pretty rare in the first half, with Longford doing anything they could to find the back of the net. Suey. Treaty did deal with a lot of Longford's attacks well though, with a lot of their main threat coming down their wings. With Treaty taking care of a lot of Longford's long balls, it wasn't looking too hopeful for the home side. One of Longford's midfielders did try their best to pull off the two-star skill moves, but Treaty were quick to defend against it. Chances for Treaty were rare in the first half, with Longford continuing to try and find any chance to get a goal. But with Longford winning a free kick in a dangerous area, there was a real chance for them to grab a goal. And they had actually done it, we had seen the worst rated team in FIFA score a goal. But as it turns out, the goal was offside, and so the score went back to nil-nil. It wasn't long until Longford had another amazing chance to go in front, with their right back forcing a crazy save from Treaty's keeper. What a strike! Longford really piled on the pressure with 20 minutes left to play in the first half. Also shout out to Treaty's left back who could quite possibly throw a football halfway across the Atlantic Ocean. Longford continued the first half by trying to find any chance they could to score, but a rare Treaty attack forced a great save from Longford's keeper. I almost forgot we were watching Longford at one point with them looking a lot more like a prime Barcelona side. But then I quickly remembered why this was the League of Ireland. The end of the first half did show some positive signs for Longford, but again Treaty were quick to shut the door on them. With the final minutes of the first half ticking down, Longford tried their best to create one last chance, but with no luck. Alright, so it's half time, it has been a decent half, Longford have had some good chances, so hopefully they can get a goal in the second half. And just like that, the second half was underway, and it was clear to see within the first couple minutes that this half was going to be a lot less one-sided, with Treaty quickly creating some decent chances. Oh. Six minutes into the half, Treaty really started to press forward. Oh, and there's me. The second half also treated us to one of the most ridiculous no look passes I've ever seen, coming from a player who somehow has just 47 passing on FIFA. EA Sport. It doesn't make sense. Treaty's defence once again proved to be very solid, with the game now becoming an end to end battle. Longford's defence did prove to be tough to break down, though, with Treaty struggling to find any real way through. Also, Mr. Long Throw Merchant was back. How does he actually throw a football that far? I guess we'll never know. And after getting corner, after corner, after corner. Oh, and is that another corner? It is surprising me. Cheers, Jeff. The game really became a battle of who could score first. Both teams came so close to scoring though, and it was really heating up for the final quarter. Deep into the second half now, Longford continued to create chances, but with no luck. With just 10 minutes left to play though, the game could have gone either way with Treaty still fighting against Longford's attacks. 
With less than two minutes left on the clock, it was Longford that gave Treaty their best chance of the game. With one last corner though, the game had finally reached full time with the game ending scoreless. So while we might not have seen Longford score, they still treated us to a pretty decent game. And EA Sports, if you are watching this, please consider giving Longford a better rating. I think they deserve it.